Hi, my name is Eric Johnson. I'm a veterinarian down in Marietta, Georgia. And I have a specialty in fish health. And my videos all begin with that. I guess by way of introduction, except if you're familiar with my channel on YouTube, then you know that. This is a video that regards a shotgun. Also the coverage of a medicine that is my new favorite in the treatment of fish diseases not all diseases it's not going to address a bacteria or a virus um, and in fact with uh, two exceptional well three exceptional parasites it might not be completely effective against those but there's four other parasites that it knocks down completely and so this product um, forms the basis of one of my most effective shotguns for you people with fish tanks let's be clear right now I'm talking about fresh water and by and large, I'm talking about fish tanks. So, freshwater fish tanks. The product is called Mardell Clout, C-L-O-U-T. And this video should be backed up with uh, slides and pictures and all of that. So, I'm pretty sure you're looking at it right now. But it's uh, Mardell's Clout. Uh, you can find it a variety of places. I don't know about pet stores because pet stores have uh, died the large chains. I did not see this product over at PetSmart. I uh, don't know if it's at Petco or Pet Supermarket or any of those other places that killed the moms and pops. So I don't know if you can find that in your local store. Um, if you can't, patronize your mom and pop store. It would be wonderful if you did that. Right now you can't find a Disticotus. Uh, you can't find a red tail cat. You can't find a lot of the best fish because mom and pop pet stores are dead and uh, now PetSmart and those companies want to sell you platies and some basic garamis and a placostomus and some goldfish, just the real basic bread and butter. You're, you're never going to, our grandchildren will never see some of the coolest tropical fish. Okay, back to my point. Clout. Good stuff. The reason I like it is because it can be used on sensitive South American fish. I've done it. And it can be used in almost every freshwater environment. I've done it. And uh, the way you use it is very simple. However, you uh, for certain parasites and certain circumstances, you use it a little bit differently. And, and that's the subject of this video is the shotgun that I like to use with Mardell Cloud. It's a tablet. And in its current formulation, and please listen, it is one tablet per 10 gallons of water. How economical is that? A lot of people are sitting around with 10, 20, 30 gallon tanks as their starters. You might have a 55, but if you have a 55, that's just five and a half tablets. Oh, wait, three times in a row. That's the thing about this shotgun therapy is you want to do this three times in a row. That's one a day, one treatment a day for three days skip a day one more treatment skip a day one more treatment and i'll explain down the road why that is um to utilize this medication you would take say a glass or a quart of water and you would mix up your tablets in that water until you have uh, dissolved it completely what you'll notice is there's a little bit of uh uh powdery crud on the bottom of the container you mix it in perfectly harmless that's what makes it into a pill the blue stuff is the medicine so you take a container of water and you mix up your tablets in that and then you distribute that blue stuff around the fish tank surface trying to or in the uh, outlet of your filtration system so that it gets mixed throughout the tank evenly and what you'll notice is that the blue color remains for uh, in most of the systems I treated anywhere from four to six hours and then a very very faint tint of it uh, around the eight hour mark you can still kind of see I have not found that product to stain anything but I have not tested it on all of the ornamentation that we put in our tanks and I have not had the privilege of testing it on uh, crushed coral or crushed oyster shell in African cichlid tanks um, necessarily at this point I'm looking forward to opportunities to do that um, in any event 
um, staining is kind of the least of your worries really when you're dealing with fish that are going down hard. Um, and of course, when you're using any kind of medication, you want to have ruled out deteriorations in water quality. Think about it. You're sitting there going, oh, my fish are dying really hard. I got to get a medicine in there to kill parasites. And it turns out the pH has crashed. Turns out your ammonia is three parts per million. Turns out your nitrites are 0.4. So test your water first to make sure you're not giving a parasite treatment to a paracute water quality problem killing your fish. So test your water and then you can get started with the Mardell clout. Um, dissolve it in a water container, distribute it around the tank. And for certain parasites, it's not going to work. Here's the parasites it's not going to work on. And that is fish lice and anchor worm. Those are parasites both that you can see with your eye. Uh, anchor worm is, uh, oh, a uh, worm. Uh, anchored to the fish's body, anchorworm. Uh, better to be treated with something that stays in the water for a minute. That's uh, Anchors Away used to do that. Dimelin used to do that. Um, uh, I think you can still find it if you keyword search Express IDI on the internet. You should be able to find what you need for anchorworm and fish lice. Uh, you could also go over to coivet.com slash resources, and that will... Um, show you where to get certain things, um, hopefully uh, direct link to Express IDI. Okay, put a pin in that, let's back up. Um, so those parasites will not respond to um, Mardell clout, just not in the system long enough, and you need something that interrupts the molt cycle. But there's uh, several parasites that it will knock down. It'll knock down Chilodinella super fast, and that's a big fish killer. It'll knock down Trichodina super fast in any temperature of water. And it will knock down Costia real fast in any temperature of water. Tetrahymena and a variety of other ciliate protozoan parasites. It's very effective. However, there is another parasite that it works not as well on. Although I've not seen it fail yet, I don't want to promise anything. Uh, Ick. Spelled either way, I-C-H-I-C-K. It's Ichthyophthirius multifilis, and um, it is a cyst. The white thing you're seeing is a cyst that's immune to treatment. It's under a layer of skin. That's why it's white. And uh, the Mardell clout seems to have a trouble getting to that. However, there is a form of the medication, uh, form of the parasite that's off of um, the fish that you can get with Mardell clout. Um, and so I believe that's the reason with this regimen of three days in a row, skip, dose, skip, dose, that you're able to get rid of ick with Mardell clout um, because you're in there enough with the medication to interrupt the swimming cycle of ick. Anyway, uh, so it's variable in your results on that. As I may have mentioned in another video on ick, I actually have two other videos on ick, and it always helps to increase the water temperature to 78 degrees. Um, some people say that if you heat the water to 84 degrees or some crazy thing like that, uh, it will make the ick die, which actually in some circumstances it will, but you'll also stress the hell out of the fish, create uh, dissolved oxygen issues, and possibly upset your nitrification, uh, mainly because you're... Um, increasing oxygen demand in a system that can't handle it. I don't know. Um, so, the um, parasites, uh, like I said, that it, it, there's one more parasite that it can uh, have trouble getting rid of, and that's flukes. Um, Trematodes. There's two of them, Gyrodactylus and uh, Jactodilarus. Or <laughs> there's Gyrodactylus and Dactylogyrus. Uh, one of them is a egg layer. One of them is a live bearer. One of them is a gill fluke. One is a, a, a skin fluke. Uh, doesn't really matter. They all die the same. Um, that is one of the reasons that you do the every other day dosing for those last two treatments, because they have an egg form or a coiled up live bearing form and you just don't know on the bottom of the, 
the uh, fish tank. So when you do three days in a row, you're getting rid of all the adults and cutting your losses fast. But then when you skip a day and dose and skip a day and dose, you're intercepting those forms that have just hatched out from the bottom. Uh, same for ick. So that's the reason for the clout shotgun is uh, Mardell clout in water temperatures of 76 to 78 degrees three days in a row skip a day dose and then skip a day and dose and that is the shotgun that I recommend for uh, freshwater tropical fish tanks in a little bit of trouble with parasites after water quality has been tested so what else you don't need to do water changes uh, I haven't found it to stain things I have used it on sensitive freshwater fish from South America um, I think that's pretty much it that's what I want to cover if I've forgotten something leave it in the comments I uh, check my comments fairly uh, frequently the ones that uh, have a bearing on all of my other um, viewers I usually answer in the comments or I'll make a specific video to address that or I'll edit this video and put it back up with the correction in it so thank you for listening and looking at my video subscribe like the video if you know anybody else who would benefit from looking at this shotgun and this medication share it on your Facebook page and I would appreciate that and have a good day thank you <laughs>